Just dig a hole in the ground, climb right on down, place some boards on top of you and sprinkle dirt around. You will have to be dead if you only plan ahead. You'll be glad you kept the shovel. Hello and welcome back to You Don't Have to Be Dead with SRJ26. I am back and as you can see I've got some fancy fancy duds going on here. I got my space suit, my power suit I should call it, uh, modular power suit. And I've got a bunch of stuff attached to it. So uh, I've got a few things to keep you uh, up to date on. First of which is that someone made a really big torch. But that's the, really the, the smallest bit of information I got for you today. Quiet cows. We got a new road here. And the new road brings us over here. And we've got a wall that looks kind of strange. And if we climb over the wall, you can see I've sort of modified the wall so that it looks uh, a little bit bigger on top. This was when I was Enderman hunting. And as you can see, if we turn around, hey, look at that, it's a door. And we go back through the door and it says, turn around to close gate. Turn around, boom, it's closed again. That is quantum blocks at their best. So we now have some fun stuff with quantum blocks. I'm gonna try to think of other ways to use them, but uh, at some point I'll show you how they're made and all that good stuff. We have another entrance way over there. Um, but right now, let's go back to our base and we'll show you. Oh, there we go. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on. There we go. And we'll show you what's going on in our base. Not a heck of a lot. I'll go in here. Whoa, there we go. Everything looks about as usual, but I've got my new Tinker's Table over here, and you'll see I have added some stuff. I don't know if you can tell, but I've added diamond plating, and there's a little check mark right there, and I've added a uh, jetpack, and I've added a cooling system, and I've added an elite battery, so we've got all kinds of good stuff going on for our jetpack. And I've also customized it a little bit so that it has colors. Look at those colors, aren't they pretty? I didn't, that's, yeah, I guess that's the colors I went for. Yeah, I got sort of a diamond, an emerald, and a redstone thing going on. I don't know. Trying to have fun with it. And I've got key bindings. So my key bindings bring my jetpack, my cooling system, and my flight control all together so that if I press the R button, R, I'll go outside and do it because it's more fun outside. If we go outside and press R, like a pirate, now we can fly around. And if we do that, doesn't really look any special, like I don't have like jet stuff coming off my butt or anything. Which is probably a good thing. But I'm happy, I like it. And that will allow me to modify the spaceship or the space station. That is our ultimate goal for this season. So, uh, let me see if there's anything else I need to discuss before we go back to the space station. I don't think there is. So let's just get on back to the space station. Uh, you've seen this before, so I'm gonna skip the boring part and just do it and I'll show you when I get there. All right, USS Poncho. Let's go there and let's hopefully we'll be... All right. Excellent, all right, beautiful. And now we should have a good seal. We can go, I haven't been here in forever. So I've had a busy week. No valid oxygen tank, uh, blah, blah, blah. Check starting, sealed. Okay, good, so we've got a good seal. And yeah, so I've not been here in a while, um, but that is all right. We've still got our handy dandy bedroom over here. 
and we've still got our you know what I need to do let me see all right well first thing I need to tell you and you probably already saw I've got a tinkers table a power armor tinkers table here and I was just thinking maybe it would make for like a really cool looking yeah I think I'm gonna put that here because I'll pick that up there you go yeah I don't know not bad not bad I could use like nine of them <laughs> make a really cool looking spaceship but that's okay that's fine so the reason I brought this up here uh, I made another one to bring up here is that I want the ability to if I've got my diamond plating on thick because I can put the thickness up I want to be able to bring it back down again if I want to go flying around um, because the thickness will increase weight and then I won't be able to fly as well so I thought it would be nice to have this up here and honestly it does look like a kind of a cool little uh there we go yeah like I don't know I, I I'm happy with it it's good enough it makes it look like a, a cockpit more so enough of that what are we here for well we are here to try very very hard to get ourselves a cooler looking spaceship somehow and my goal was to use the flight to be oh I remember these god I feel like it's it's really does feel like it's been a long time since I've been here I can't jump up on that but uh let's see okay so we've got some stuff to make and the stuff we have to make are carpenters blocks and carpenters tools because we're going to try to put some sort of a shape on this baby and before I do that let's just go take a look let's see if this works because if I fall back down to the earth not that there I do have a parachute okay so if worst case scenario I will fall back down to earth okay so oh where's my thing there's my thing all right let's grab that because those are actually kind of valuable and let's hit R and let's actually destroy this thing right now that's uh iron axe there you go get rid of that now hopefully we will be able to keep an eye on our heat and whoop and we will not there we go and we will not overheat so we can hover underneath whoa we can hover underneath and work on the ship and add a shape to it and make it look all pretty and give it sort of a nicer look than it has right now because I don't like these blocky sides here I want to make those look better and I don't know how I'm gonna do it yet but I think we've got a I might need to add some something under here I don't know we'll see I might just make it all slope up from the bottom row no no I can't do that but don't worry I'll figure it out I'll figure it out uh, so I'm gonna add a slope here on this level going up and then another slope here going down so it'll give it like a nice edge along that side right there and I think I'm gonna probably slope the glass too so that the glass actually doesn't look all ugly and blocky like that and over here I will probably I might actually bring my my, my edge whoa Let me just get a little bit out there I might bring this edge all the way out and just make it a big triangle. Yeah. And then have the flap come out into a wing, maybe. I don't know. I don't know yet. But now I can actually work on this darn thing, whereas before, not so much. I bet if I fly down too low, I will actually go back to the Earth, and I don't want to do that. Uh, so I'm gonna try to stay up here I can't get too far off but I can actually get far away oh I hope I don't lose where my flip is where are you 
That would be poor. Oh, there it is, okay. Yay, maps. There you are, okay. <laughs> Let's not get lost in space. In space, no one can hear you get lost. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so guys, this is it. We got our, spa our, our flight. We are doing it now. I'm gonna tell you what I did to get the flight. Uh, I actually had to go to the end where someone else had already killed the Ender Dragon and I had to mess around there forever to get that uh, up and running and no, not up and running to get my ender pearls so that I could turn them into ender pearl juice which I could then put in a thing to make a thing it's a very complicated process um, all right I'm gonna turn off the zero rockets and oh it's quieter now I wonder if you couldn't hear me well if you couldn't hear me I apologize there we go all right it's really quiet now um, yeah so you already know about the wedges. I already told you about the wedges, but I'm going to tell you a little more about the wedges because the wedges are kind of key. But what I need to tell you about is actually how we adjust them. There we go. And that is a different matter entirely. So we're going to go look up carpenter's block uh, hammer. Come on, you're not gonna tell me what the carpenter's block stuff is? All right, uh, let's just remember how to do it. I wonder if I can find it in here. Yeah, just give me a second. All right, well, I'm not gonna worry about that. I'm gonna try to remember how to do it. So let's uh, let's just mess around here just a little bit. I bet I can figure it out. Hey, look at I did it. All right, very good. Thank goodness for a good memory. All right, so we've got this carpenter's block tool. And it's, well, I don't know why it didn't come up as a hammer, because it is a carpenter's hammer. So we've got our carpenter's block tool, and we've got our hammer. And this is how, actually, let me just store my, wonderful rocket. Okay, good. So we take this wonderful little carpenter's block that I can put anything onto. And if I want to make an angle on the outside there where I'm looking right now, that's not going to cut it because that's not the right orientation. So what you do is you take your nifty carpenter's block hammer and you right click and it changes and it changes again. Look at that. And it changes again, and it changes again. Oh, come on, change, change. There we go. Oh, it's, there we go. And it just cycles through all the shapes you can get. Um, so as you can see, it's it's pretty versatile. And then once you've got the one you want, so let's say I want this one. Now I can uh, left click and rotate it. And that is how you can get these carpenter blocks to pretty much go anywhere. So I could take this wall and make a flat bunch of glass to go across here using this shape. Just by putting the carpenter block down and then right clicking it a certain number of times until it's this shape and then left clicking it until it orients to the right way. And it's a little larger, as so I know, but uh, it's still, you know, pretty cool. So. That is my plan. I'm going to get to work doing that. And uh, let me see, do I have any glass that I could? Well, you know what? It's actually going to be pretty time consuming to do. And I've promised you guys that I'm not going to waste your time by, by doing all the meticulous, boring, let's play stuff that people do all the time. So I'm going to just explain to you that that's what I'm doing. And then I'm going to try to get to work and try to put a nose on this, oh, come on, come on, come on, come on, oh, I can't get forward there. All right, try to put a nose on this ship and try to taper the frame and the look of it and make it just look all awesome. That's the plan. So yeah, that's uh, that's what's going on. And I 
think I am all good for today. So I've been really busy. This this stuff has actually taken a lot of effort to do. Let me go back and just take one more look at my tinkers table. There we go. So yeah, we've got we've got stuff on the boots. I did not bother with jet boots, but I did put stuff on the boots, which involved uh, plating. And on the legs, I put plating on the legs. And then the, the torso is really where all the good stuff is. So this thing took ion thrusters, which I had to go to the end and get ender pearls. And it was just a massive pain in the butt. And the cooling system was not too bad. I actually had some eye vendors around and uh, the control circuit wasn't too hard. Um, let me see, what else, what else? Uh, the oh, battery was a little bit of a pain, but not too bad. And yeah, you just, you get the stuff. This one was kind of a pain to, oh wait, install? Oh, I, that's on the, that's on the helmet, okay. I was all confused, I was like, I already have that. Yeah, so high efficiency solar gener, oh, I wonder if, no, I think we're good. Cause energy storage, let's actually see how much we have. Can we tell how much we have? Uh, let me see, shift, oh, 142K out of 500K. I honestly don't even know if that power is going to anything right now. If I shift, it shows my battery, my jetpack, my cooling system. I was assuming I needed the battery for like the cooling system. And I know I need the cooling system to stay alive because modular power suits have a funny way of turning uh, on to, into flames. Uh, people light on fire all the time. So, uh, and I've discovered one thing about the modular power suits that I'm pretty sure is right, that if you bring them into a hot biome like the desert, uh, it is very bad. Because <laughs> I, I caught on fire in the desert, and I think some of the other guys were having trouble catching on fire, and I think it was due to their biome. I think they were going through a biome where it was much, much harder to maintain temperature. Probably the desert, maybe the jungle. I'm noticing that as I walk around, look at my heat. My heat sort of goes up and down, and I don't know why. Um, if you can see over on the uh, on on the right hand side, I've got a little blue bar, and I've also got there. There you go. I've got a little red bar that occasionally pops up, and there there you go. And there's a little bit there, and I don't know what's doing it. I really don't. So something's doing it, but um, I don't think it's this because when I have this on, my cooling system is on. So. I probably should put my cooling system on all the time, except that my theory is that I'm only really using a lot of juice when I'm flying. Whoa, I'm fast. Oh, my lord. All right. I need a larger spaceship. Okay. Zoom. Okay. So, let me turn that off so you can hear me. And that is all. Let me just... Boop, 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 boop. Hey, okay. Oh, I'm in my bedroom. I wasn't trying to go to my bedroom. I was trying to go there. Okay, there we go. So, oh, backwards. Oh, wait. Okay, yay. All right, good shot, good shot. Uh, oh, and I one more thing, SRJ's Blade of Death. Uh, I think it was G-Claw that started giving me stuff, and G-Claw is awesome. So he's on the server, and um, I have asked people not to give me stuff, but the thing he gave me was so awesome I had it hard time not using it so <laughs> i'm a very do-it-yourselfer kind of guy but uh in this case this thing is just freaking ridiculous um so yeah unbreaking three looting three sharpness five yeah so uh, i don't know if you want people to give you stuff like be nice and maybe they will but um <laughs> thank you g-claw uh if it was g-claw if it wasn't g-claw then i feel really i'm a big tool but hopefully i'm not a big tool <laughs> at least no more than you guys realize that is all i have for you today thank you for watching uh, i'm gonna work on the shape of this uh this ridiculous contraption of a space station i got here because that is what i'm trying to end this season on having the best spaceship ever and I'll probably have some more tangents for you before the season's out. And then next season, quarries, uh, Mars, and 26 episodes of craziness. So thank you for watching. I will see you next time. Bye-bye. So many rumors, sometimes you get confused But I read it in Time Magazine And I heard it on the news